Good morning everybody, it's February the 1st. Richard once again on behalf of Bansko Blog and the Bansko app. What a magnificent day. It's snowing, it's snowing hard. Not too many people around. I'll just pan around there for you. As you can see, I'm going down Red 12. Uh, surprisingly, there was quite a bit of powder uh, snow that happened last night. I thought it was only starting this morning at about 8 o'clock, but the forecast was a bit wrong. There was indeed uh, snow last night. It's made conditions up at the top of the mountain very difficult. It's, it's windy. Uh, there are lots of patches of uh, fresh powder, about five millimetres or so, but then bits of uh, hard, compact piece where the wind has just blown it off. And I'm surprised that the lifts are actually working to the, the very top. I did manage to get the six man to Dorka three quarters of the way up and came down the blue to the plateau. But today I would say that blue 10 and 5 and red 12 are the best conditions. Out of the wind, fresh snow everywhere, right in the middle of the piece, and it's only going to get better. I think this is due to continue all day and this evening. So tomorrow I think will be one of the best days uh, of the whole season so far, which is great. Now, I'm not going to stay too long. I just want to uh, have a little bit of a, a shout or a potential plug uh, in many respects to a couple of places I've been to recently. Um, they're a bit, well, not very well known, but a bit off the beaten track. Um, one is called Red Hot. It's one of these log cabin type places where they do all the traditional food you would get in the Mahana uh, here in Bansko. Um, my favourite dish there was a... Uh, a chicken uh, with vegetables, I think it's called chicken kavama, and it comes in a, your own personal casserole pot. So if you come off the piece and go there and order one of those, it's about 15 lev, so it's not going to break the bank. It was fantastic. Uh, what they also do, uh, not many people know this, is that they do these specialist steaks that they import, you know, like tomahawk steaks, uh, sirloin etc you, you're probably going to pay top dollar for those but at least it's an option now on the menu uh, which is good news the other place for a little shout out i went last night to the contra bar it's a bit of a, a homage to snowboarding and snowboarders with the plasma screens and top people in the world doing crazy stuff coming down mountains in competitions and things but they do cocktails there, lots of cocktails, lots of shots. Uh, of course, it's a beer bar as well. They have a DJ some nights. But what they specialise in are burgers, hot dogs and spicy chicken wings. And they have a Bulgarian supplier that supplies all different levels of hot sauce. I think it's called Chili Hills. Well, of course, I tried the level 10, which is the strongest. I don't know how many Scovilles it was, but I know the Carolina Reaper is about 2 million. Well, level 10, not a problem at all. Uh, I would highly recommend that. So, red hot for the log cabin, which is just uh, go to the traffic lights uh, in the uh, top of uh, Pirin Street and head towards the river, and it's on the left-hand side. Um, easy to find, and the Contra Bar is just about two minutes further down on the right-hand side. So you should have some good fun in the afternoon and evenings there. That's about it for now. I'll just pan around. As you can see, it's still fairly quiet coming down this Red 12. And even for beginners, Red 12, um, because of the conditions of the, the powder here, is considerably easier than some places on the Blues, in my honest opinion. That's it for now. Uh, Hopefully I'll be with Lance tomorrow and I'll look out for his fancy new outfit. Although I did think he was moonlighting for a Yulin chairlift operator. Uh, but on closer inspection, it does look as though he's got some very good gear. Uh, cheerio for now. Bye bye.